Okay, this video is what are the biggest lies in veganism? And there's a lot of them. So first of all, good fats. Good fats just hypnotizes people's brains and makes them stupid. There are no good fats. You need to know that. There's no good fats. All the stuff about olive oil being good for you, it's all nonsense. Omega-3 supplements are not good for you. I made entire videos about this. Increased risk of cancer, immune suppression, obesity, insulin resistance. Um, MSG is not good for you, okay? It's a problem. It's a neurotoxin. Um, MFG as well is the way it's typically hidden. Um, I've made videos about that. F- minus is not good for you. Uh, theoretical potential, not even for sure it's real, minor benefit on the teeth is not a correction for a neurotoxin carcinogen. It's not healthy to drink tap water. At least have a carbon filter, not just because of F- minus, the aluminum, the endocrine disrupting chemicals and other toxic stuff in the water. Okay, high fructose corn syrup, it's not okay. I used to have dietitians tell me it was okay. It's because, you know, these big food companies are funding their dietitian school, so they teach them stuff that's not true. And it's purified with a, used to be purified, I don't know, it sometimes still is with a chloralkali vats such that it would have a mercury neurotoxin in there. It predisposes the fatty liver, the industrial type high fructose corn syrup. Um, MJ, marijuana, it's not a health food, okay? I mean, a lot of people, it's like all these sort of like assertive, stupid people think MJ is good for you and the CBD oil and stuff. MJ is a brain neurotoxin, okay? I talk to neurologists on a pretty frequent basis. It causes brain damage. It causes schizophrenic breakdowns. It's laced with PCP sometimes. It's a very dangerous thing. Okay, nuts are not good for you, okay? They're very high in fat, you know, like ballparking 75 to 90 percent fat that's not good for you okay if you're starving yeah i would eat them okay to have a couple on a holiday that's not a big deal but as a part of a regular part of your meal unless you're you know starvation skinny they're they're not a smart part of a meal okay flax flax is super estrogenic more estrogenic than soy off the charts estrogenic fat 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 you don't need to be chasing that down i don't want to be eating estrogenic foods coconut oil all this saturated fat it's not good for you Okay, fortifying foods with iron. I, I gave a whole bunch of lectures on how iron is toxic. Uh, unless you're iron deficient, anemic, okay, which is rare other than, you know, menstruating teenage female or something, okay? Um, and a few other people. If you got colon cancer, you're bleeding out of your colon. You don't want to be eating the extra iron. Very few people need that. Okay, fried foods are no big deal. No, fried foods are a real big deal. I just gave some lecture recently about increased incidence of lung cancer and non-smoking women from cooking fried foods and inhaling the cooking oil fumes. Sodium is a big deal. You know, we talked about Kempner. We talked, I got like a bunch of different lectures on sodium. You don't want to be adding that to your food. I realize a tiny bit here and there on top of your food to taste fine, but you don't want to be, make a habit of eating a lot of sodium. It doesn't lead to anything good. Oh, I gave a couple lectures on APL. Just talked about my mo most recent video. It's a big deal. Not, not just the trans fats. It's also got potentially going to contain hexane, toluene, lead, methyl cyanide, acetonitrile. It's not good. Okay, aspartame, it's a neurotoxin, okay. Um, Blaylock, Russell Blaylock, the neurosurgeon, wrote a good book about that, excitotoxins, the taste that kill. Okay, that was a good book. Stevia, Stevia did a big sweetener. Oh, is it okay? No, it's another thing associated with infertility. I mean, you guys, get with it, okay. This whole modern processed food, food situation is designed to sterilize you from fluoride dropping to sperm counts, from soy estrogenics, uh, from, you know, hexane, neurotoxins, these things all make you fat, stupid, and infertile. Gee, I wonder if it's a coincidence that they all do that. Of course it, of course it isn't. I mean, otherwise, don't be stupid, okay? It's not a coincidence when everything converges on the same conclusion, okay? Um, that's called consilience, that multiple small things, each by themselves, potentially insignificant, when they all converge to the same goal, a wise person would think, well, maybe this is intentional, Okay, tea is not good for you. Besides, you know, potentially concentrated fluoride and aluminum, the caffeine's not good for you. The coffee's not good for you. Raises your brain metabolic rates while it drops your brain blood flow, increasing the neurovascular uncoupling gap, putting you at increased risk for neuronal loss due to apoptosis. That's not good for you. Organic, some people are telling you organic doesn't matter. No, organic does matter. It's a big deal. I gave a bunch of lectures on glyphosate, its toxicity, atrazine. Besides being a feminizer, changing male frogs into female frogs and being super estrogenic. It also is a mitochondrial inhibitor, okay? That's causes, that predisposes to brain damage, fatigue, etc. The BT corn potentially tearing up your gut. GMO, who the heck knows what that does. Hexane, neurotoxin, often used to process soy. All that stuff is bad. Uh, oh, the other thing too is people try to pretend, oh, atheism makes science objective. No, BS. What atheism says is that human life does not matter. 
And when human life does not matter, the only thing that really matters is money. And then all these institutions and agencies, they can all easily be bought off and then really bad things happen. The sad truth is it's more profitable to rip you off and trick you than it is to help you, okay? So that's why you have to have some type of God-based worldview that values the individual or there's just going to be widespread exploitation. Remember what Voltaire said. Voltaire said, I want my doctor to be, uh, I want my doctor to believe in God so he does not rob me, okay? And there's a lot of wisdom in that statement. Okay, and I'll just give you a typical conversation I, I run into. So I recently was talking to this very smart conventional doctor. I have a very high respect for his opinions and his knowledge. You know, outside of medical conventional stuff, he doesn't necessarily know as much, but he means well. He's trying. He's just kind of young. And he, he said to me, he goes, I thought I heard that vegans were bad for the environment. He said, because they fart more. And that puts holes in the ozone and causes climate change. And I said, are you stupid or something? How could you say that? Think about it. Whenever there's some type of you know, one of these worldwide policies, it's always that, you know, the peasants are causing a problem, making CO2, making farts with methane, therefore we must tax them more, therefore we must take away their gas-powered vehicles and put them in electric cars that we can control with remote control, you know, therefore we must take away their gas stoves. Give me a break, okay? Uh, you know, a, a vegan making a fart is irrelevant, okay, to the climate. There's been animals and human vegans farting since the beginning, okay, and that didn't do anything to the climate, okay? And then when, you know, the, the pipeline, the Nord Stream pipeline is taken out, oh, that's got nothing to do with the environment. The chemtrails are sprayed in the sky. Oh, that's got nothing to do with the environment. So anything that a big corporation does, it's no big deal. But anything the peasant does, it's a problem. You need to tax some more, okay? Come on, that's BS. I mean, use your head, okay? Uh, so, and you know, Michael Crichton, I don't know if you guys remember him. He was the guy who wrote Jurassic Park and... A uh, bunch of other great books. The guy was a genius. I studied him. Um, and he, he had studied this climate change stuff, and he thought it was bogus. Now, I personally have not studied yet. And I know there's some pretty smart people who claim it's legit. So I'd have to study it more to give a definitive opinion. But I can also tell you, whenever I start hearing, it's all the peasants' fault, therefore we must raise taxes and push them into a collective, that sounds like BS to me. So anyways, I'm just letting you know, this is why I also I think a lot of the so-called famous vegans are just, you know, BS artists. They'll tell you some good stuff, but then they lie to you about all this stuff. I don't lie to you about anything. There's some things I'm scared to talk about. I think that's the truth. I you got to be honest, but I don't lie to you about anything. And I'd also tell you, if you want information that you can't find on one video channel, go to the other video channels if you want to learn stuff, okay? I tell you what I can tell you. I'm trying to help you, you know, for all the reasons I've talked about in other videos. So, anyways, hope this was helpful.